Welcome to the Blender tutorial, giving your Cinti character posable eyes. This one will also consist a little bit of moving your eyebrows around and prepping for the next one you, if you want to pose those as well. Um, what we're going to do is while we're in object mode, we're going to highlight our mesh. Let's tab over to edit mode. First off, we want to get our eyes off of our character. We'll highlight most of the faces that we can see. You should have it on face select. We're going to put it into wire mode so we can see. Click G. You can tell it looks like the whole eye came out of there. So we'll put it in mirror mode. G. We're going to move it along the Y. Just going to drag it out a little bit. We're going to take it out of mirror mode so we don't forget. And let's do the same thing with the eyebrows. Highlight the faces that you can see. You don't have to get everyone. It just helps if you get most of them. Back in wireframe mode, we'll click G. Looks like we got most of it, so we're going to rinse and repeat G along the Y and park them somewhere out there. With that done, a quick tip. Um, when you move your mouth, if you've posed, made a poseable mouth, you'll probably notice that it moves the forehead a little bit up here. What we'll do is we can correct that pretty quickly. We'll go into object mode. It's a fairly easy fix with this one. Object mode, highlight your bones. Back into edit mode. Pull our eye controller out and our eyebrows out. All you have to do is extrude along the Y a new head bone. Once we pair it with automatic weights, it'll pick up more of this forehead area so it won't be moving quite as much of the lower half of the face. Now we'll continue on with the eyes here. We're going to move to the side view here, rotate this on the X. And let's scale it down a little bit. Move it back. We don't want this one to deform. Make sure you turn that off. We'll go back to the side view here. We're going to shift D to duplicate and move it along the Y. This is going to be our I main. And this is going to be our I main controller. And this one should not deform as well, so it's unchecked on that one. We will shift D to duplicate. Let's move this along the X. Bring it out by the eye here. We're going to rotate it on the x-axis as well. And then drop it down. Let's shrink it down to size a little bit. Go down just a little more and then we'll go to the front view. And we're centered pretty good. We're going to call this one I.R for the right eye. And we do want this one deforming the mesh, so make sure you turn that back on. We're going to shift D for duplicate. We're going to move this along the Y axis. Out closer to the front here. And this is going to be our I underscore controller dot R. And get rid of that dot zero zero one. While we're clicked on this one, make sure you turn off deform. We just want this controlling our eyes, not deforming the mesh. So we're going to shift click our controller here. While well, after we've clicked on the eye controller, parent make keep offset. We're going to do the same thing back here. So we shift clicked. This should be yellow. Keep offset. We're going to go into pose mode. We'll highlight this eye piece here, the eye right. Pose mode. Down into bone constraints. We're going to add a damped track. We're going to put it on the root. And we're going to scroll through and look for eye controller right. Eye controller right. So now that should be tracking to that. 
We'll go back into edit mode. Shift select our two eye bones here. Right click, symmetrize, and now we should have a duplicate on the other side. With that done, the last thing we have to do is just double check. Let's just make sure this one should not be deforming. This one should. We'll go into object mode. Let's split these eyes. So in object mode, this will make it a little easier later. Highlight your mesh, but then highlight your eyes here. Make sure you shift select to get all the faces. We're going to separate by selection. So this made this its own little form. You can see it added it over here. Back in object mode, we can pick the eyes. Now shift select our armature parent with automatic weights. So now we should have some poseable eyes here. This is going to be your main controller. If you grab, it should move both of them. Or you can do each individual eye as you see fit. Before I forget, let's go back into object mode. We're going to select our mesh here and then shift select the armature. And then we're going to parent with automatic weights. What that does is that reforms the head bone here as well to control more of the upper half instead of these controlling it. So it doesn't move the forehead quite as bad as it used to. So again, now we've got some poseable eyes and the lips should be a little bit better. Um, I hope you find this helpful. Uh, watch the next tutorial for the eyebrows. If not, put everything back and you should be good to go. Leave some comments if you have any questions. Thanks.